This is a Bucks fast break presented by West Bend, the Silver Lining. 125 to 115, the Bucks over Detroit, and it's the first of a back to back. These two teams will close it out on Wednesday in Milwaukee as the Bucks try to go for the sweep. Bottom line, no, Steve. Giannis, 43 big points, 30 of those coming in the first half. Yeah, he was dominant in Milwaukee. Bucks were dominant in the paint, outscoring Detroit by 20 points in the paint. But, Craig, like you said, playing the same team twice in three days is not an easy task, and the Bucs are going to have to come with that same energy on Wednesday. Final numbers, Bucks shoot very well at 58%, also nail 14 more three-pointers, 32 assists as they continue to share the ball. But this one belongs to Giannis. Here's Coach Bud. He had a, a really, really good performance, um, doing lots of things, including you know creating lots of shots and playing with the pass and um, you know, the focus was, was really high level tonight. Um, so yeah, you know, you, you never want to not appreciate um, how special and how good he is and um, how much he's improving. Yeah, Giannis, uh, we talked a lot about his ball distribution uh, over the last couple of games, triple-double threats as well, but uh, he established himself offensively early in this one, and it certainly paid off. Detroit did not go away at the end of the game either tonight. No, you're right. And Giannis being unselfish in previous games, getting guys involved, letting the game come to him, I think really benefited him in this game. You could see all of his teammates were ready. They were now looking for him. Detroit did not come out the way they needed to defensively against him, and Giannis was certainly able to take advantage. All right, so the Bucks and Pistons, game two of this quick two-game series in Milwaukee Wednesday. We're on the air at 6.30 on Fox Sports Wisconsin. This has been a Bucks fast break presented by West Bend, the Silver Lining.